Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I wanted to talk to you about real money versus posers, people who pretend to have money, and also idiots who happen to have money. All right? So speaking on the first point, those that have real money, those that have actual wealth, significant wealth and assets, they're never going to be the ones to boast about it. They're not going to be talking about their money to you. They're not going to be showboating in any way. They're not going to be flaunting how they spend their money. For the most part, the exact opposite is true. The ones that have the real money go out of their way to give the impression of living a humble life and not having all of that wealth that they actually do have. All right? So when you hear people talking about what they have and bragging about how much money they have or how much money they've spent or you know what they were able to buy, these people fall into the second category of posers for the most part. What I mean by posers are people who try their best and for some reason just care so much about what others think about them. And they try so hard to give off the impression of being very rich and wealthy. They want people to think that they have much more than they actually do. They want people to think that there's something special and it's their money and how much money they have that makes them special. So they tend to try to you know, focus all of the attention on the fact that they have money. These are the type of people who I refer to as posers. All right, people who talk about their money. Maybe they do have some. They could be, for the most part, their new money, meaning they're not generationally wealthy people. These are people who either got lucky, who through hard work of their own, through uh, just opportunity, right place, right time, somehow they made some money and they show it that they're new to it by the way they act, by the way they talk. Basically, people that don't have great amount of class. You know, anyone with class and dignity, any honorable, respectful person will never, ever talk to you about how much money they have. Just the topic in general of money is normally to be avoided. You know, we don't need to discuss that because that's not how we're judging each other's character or worth. All right? We're not basing our feelings about other people by how deep their pockets are or how strong their bank account is or their financial portfolio. To the people who do that, those are the posers, all right? And for the last group of people, I just call them idiots. These are idiots with money, all right? Now, however they came to get it, they could have got it similarly to the guys in the second category, luck, uh, work, they could have got blessed by it in some way, they could be actors, they could be athletes, they could be entertainers, uh, generally, rappers fit this last category perfectly. They're idiots with money. And the reason I say that is because all they do is just talk about what they have and brag. All right? Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me, there's nothing worse than hearing someone brag about the things that they have or the amount of money that they have knowing that the majority of the rest of the world don't have the same. Why would you want to do that? Why would you go out of your way to try to make yourself look like you're something special or shine at the expense of others in showing how little they have? It doesn't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? It's like the, it's like the kind of guys who want to give and donate to charity and do goodwill, but only if they get recognition for doing it. The exact opposite of what a real, genuine, good-hearted person would do. They'd write a check or they'd give a cash to any charity, to any homeless person, family, whoever they want. Any good deed that they want to do, they would do it because it's in their heart to do it. Never thinking about putting their name out there and attaching it to this good deed or getting recognition or calling the local newspaper and media and letting them know, hey, I just donated you know, $200,000 to this. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's not for the right reason. And going back to this last category, guys, it's a shame that so many people accept this type of behavior. 
It doesn't make sense, guys. This is fucking clowns. These are clowns. These are fools acting this way. And not only are they fools for the way they act, but they're also attracting the wrong kind of attention to themselves. In the sense of government eyes, IRS, law enforcement, but also of the real bad guys that are out there. You're flaunting your money and showboating and fucking acting like you're a big shot. Somebody out there eventually is going to see this and get real upset by this. And they're going to come fucking get you. They're going to come get you. you know. And I, I don't even want to say this because it sounds bad. But I feel like in some way I would want it to happen more often than it does. Just so people understood the reality of it and why it's not a good thing to do. There's no benefit at all from showboating your money and flashing and trying to show off and trying to impress people. It's so unfortunate to me that it seems like our whole society is run by money. Money. That's all it is. That's all people care about. I'm here to tell you that that's bullshit. That's the last thing you should judge somebody based on. How much money they have or don't have. So to conclude this video, guys, be humble regardless of your financial situation and if you happen to be with a lot of money now or maybe come into it in the future don't be one of those idiots who flashes don't be one of those assholes who thinks yourself special because of your money okay a perfect example of this that just came to mind is Floyd Mayweather he even nicknamed himself money Floyd money Mayweather this guy's a perfect example of that last category Right, where he actually does have very big money. But all the money in the world will never buy him class, will never buy him dignity, and that man has no fucking idea about honor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something positive out of it. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.